الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله when we think about our position in relation to the creation and what we should be doing as human beings because our time is limited it really is limited and all of us are going to end up tasting death كل نفس ذا اكت الموت Every soul will taste death. Every soul will taste death. And if we were to put that in perspective, we would actually realize that it is imperative that we understand who our Creator is and how to worship Him properly. That is the of utmost importance. And the reason I say that, because when we look at the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we look at the Qur'an, and we see where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِينَ وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ اللَّهِ عَبْدُونَ I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. Letting us know that our purpose is what? To worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means that's the purpose. That is your maqsid in this life. That's your hadith. That, that should be your hadith. That should be your goal is to worship Allah alone. All of us get caught up in this worldly life and forget. But depending on your level of iman and the soul food you put into yourself, meaning the food that feeds your soul. And what is the food that feeds your soul? It's ilm. It's ilm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ilm of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's knowledge and the reminders because the reminder benefits al-mu'mineen. The reminder benefits the believers. And as we said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنِّ لِلْوِنْسِ I've not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَإِلَٰهُكُمْ إِلَٰهٌ وَاحِدٌ لَا إِلَٰهَ إِلَّا هُوَ الرَّحْمَنَ الرَّحِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says في كتاب الكريم in the Quran And your Lord, إِلَٰهُكُمْ And your Lord is only one and then he subhanahu wa ta'ala says, La ilaha illahu rahman rahim There is no God worthy of worship except Him, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, the most beneficent, the most merciful. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayat, He is establishing, there's, there's ithbat and nafi. There's an affirmation, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms tawheed. وَإِلَٰهُكُمْ إِلَٰهٌ وَاحِدٌ Your Lord is, is one God. He's, he's one Lord. He's one God. That's an affirmation. Then he, Tabarak wa ta'ala says, لَا إِلَٰهَ إِلَّهُ الرَّحْمَنُ الرَّحِيمُ There is no God worthy of worship except Him, the most beneficent, the most merciful. So in the next part of the ayat where he, he says, لَا He's negating. What is he negating? He's negating that there are other gods worthy of worship. Because he said, La ilaha illa huwa. There is no God worthy of worship except him. And then he mentions some of his divine names and attributes. Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, the most beneficent, the most merciful. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the book of the وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ بِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the book of the book And your Lord has declared or has ordered you to worship Him وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا So your Lord has commanded you to worship none other than Him and to your parents 
Give it sin. You know, be righteous, be pious, be humble before your parents and serve your parents. Serve the elders. Be calm, uh, be kind and gentle with the elders. And a faida or a benefit we gain from this ayah is that we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned along with tawheed, along with the worship of him and him alone, he mentioned the importance of serving parents and being righteous to one's parents. So that shows us that this ayat mentions the haq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and then the haq of some of the most important of the creation, which is your parents. Haq Allah wa haq al-ibad or haq al-makhluk. So there's the haq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is mentioned in a hadith, a hadith of Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu, when Mu'adh was riding with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on a donkey. And he said, Ya Mu'adh, tadri ma haq Allah al-ibadi, wa ma haq al-ibadi ala Allah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O Mu'adh, do you know the right of Allah upon his servant and the right of the servant upon Allah? Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, Allah wa rasulu wa alam. He said, Allah and his messenger know best. Then he said, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Haq Allah al ibadi an ya'buduhu wa la yushriku bi shayin. Wa haq al ibadi ala Allah an la, wa haq al ibadi ala Allah an la yu'adhibu, an la yu'adhiba man la yushriku bi shayin. So then the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned the haq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which we need to be uh, conscious of. He said, the right of Allah upon his servants is that they worship him and him alone and associate no partners with him. And the right of the servant upon Allah, meaning you as, a, as the creation, Allah has given you a right over him. But you can't enforce that right on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But he's given you from his rahmah. A, uh, he's given you a right over him. And that is... That if you do not commit shirk with him, no associating any partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all, haqqaq tawheed, that you really actualize tawheed, the, the true monotheism, that he will not punish you. Haqq Allah al-ibadi an ya'budu wa la yushriku bi shayin, wa haqq al-ibadi ala Allah an la yu'adhiba min la yushriku bi shayin. Allah will not punish the one who does not... Um, Associate partners with him. So that is a faida, a big benefit of Tawheed. And that shows us that we need to be conscious of this. Because we live in a world full of chaos and madness. We live in a world full of crazy political uh, chaos. And we live in a world that is so uncertain. And we live in a world full of hatred. And racism, for those of us who, racism everywhere. But for those of us in America, we have a unique experience because America is an immensely racist society that was established off a lot of violence based on hatred of race. So with all of that madness and insanity, the, clear, the clarity, the clear vision comes from worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we know La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no might, nor power except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.